Hey guys, how's it going? This is Sonu Sharma and welcome back to Unity Dev Tutorials. And today's video is on light probes, so let's get started. Here in the example scene, what I have is an environment which consists of a set of cubes for floors and walls. The texture you see here is a default texture that we used to get in Universal Render Pipeline, sorry, Pipeline uh, asset. And a directional light which is a default directional light that I'm using here and a sphere which will represent our moving object. So first and foremost thing is uh, what we can see here is we can see the real time shadow falling of these objects on the floor. One more thing I would like to show you is we are not getting this light uh, floor reflection on this sphere which is our moving object. So first thing that we'll be doing here is we'll be making this mixed and let's hit static. And the environment that we are using will also keep static because we want the reflection of the static object to into our object. Static and I'm gonna hit yes, children, children as well. Now my auto generate light settings are on, you can change the properties by hitting on window rendering and light settings this is where you can change your values and play with it usually it takes time to bake light so relax now that we have completed our light baking let's see the changes when I move my sphere inside the shadow you can see that it remains completely lit so there is no effect of shadow on it so this means that we have to go for lighting probe. So let's go headlight and light probe. Now you can see this yellow dots here in the center of my environment. You can always select it with the help of this button hit on it and you can select it with select all add probe you can add. So first of all let me move this sphere here. Then let me select it. Gonna move this to extreme left. Then this one to the extreme right. Don't move it inside that wall, otherwise it will be completely blank. And move this bottom part here on the floor. This top part a little bit up here. a little bit more left and now command D to duplicate it and I'll move it a bit here this one this side So basically we are tracing this shadow this one I'm placing this on the edges so that whenever the object moves here it should show. And now I'll select this and not this one. Okay, uh, I'll select this first. And now what we'll have to do is we'll have to duplicate this part. 
here and I'll move this one here here we have this one let it be there duplicate this one and here as well so now whenever I move my sphere there's nothing happening because I have to go and generate auto generate lantern so now you can see that wherever I am going the light probe according to that is getting on and off you see the dark shadow, dark shadow over here, which was not earlier visible. So, and you can see this as well. One thing I have to check is, am I getting these lights, these floor lights? Yeah but not exactly the way I want. So let's add light probe here as well. I'll look at these lights. Move this one here and this one here. And few here as well. Let's wait, it's saying me preparing for bake. So though it is getting baked, we can see a few bouncing lights here. You see this changes from here to here. let's hit play and let's see so you can see these bounce line changes here And now I'll show you the shadow. So one more thing, this is when your graphic requirement is very high, your uh, PC is running on very high end settings, then you can use this So you can see that I'm getting a good shadow here and whenever I'm moving this object in the light you can see these changes. So this is how you can add uh, light probes into your scene and you can make your scene very interesting and very beautiful. So those who thought that this is very difficult and it is very hard to understand now after watching this video this won't be hard anymore. So I hope this video is going to help you out with the light probes and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to watch more interesting videos and more interesting content about Unity development, log in to my Patreon and support me on Patreon.
you can also like and subscribe this video and comment down below if you have any comments any query about this video thank you so much thank you for watching guys until then keep coding